Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mary Cassandra Odena, the Director of Faith Formation at St. Thomas Aquinas. Um, for our Senior Confirmation Project 2024, we did a fabulous job. Our candidates interviewed the seniors. They were all engaged and involved in the interviews. I believe they learned a great deal, and our seniors indicated that they thought the children were so engaging, and they enjoyed the project so much. So today we're finally at the end of the Senior Confirmation Project, where for the, this year, and our confirmation team is called Senior Confirmation, where our confirmation students have been paired up with one of the seniors in our parish community, both here at St. Thomas Aquinas and Our Lady Help of Christians. It really is a great joy to see how it really came together. Uh, at first we didn't, wasn't quite sure what to expect, but it, it even exceeded our expectation as the confirmation students were paired up with seniors of our parish to tell their stories, to learn about them, and learn about why they stayed in church and how they got involved in their parish community. Uh, my name is Antonio. I am from Our Lady Help of Christians. So far, my experience has been good. I really connected with my senior. Like I got, really, I got to know them really well. My senior, Miss Nicole, is a Catholic who influenced my advancement into Catholicism. She was confirmed when she was around my age, but had no saint name or sponsor. After just a few weeks of getting to know my senior citizen Natalie, we have developed an amazing relationship with each other. Her life has inspired me in so many different ways. So many different ways. My senior's baptism name was Saint Elizabeth. The virtues that my saint has taken from this saint, from my senior has taken from this saint, that they cared for the sick. My name is Sarah, I am from St. Thomas Aquinas, and this experience has been really great for me. I've really enjoyed getting to know these two seniors. It's been a very interesting experience. I know that I had the gift of faith, but by this experience, I was able to renew my gift of faith by going back to when I was a young child and how my faith came about and hopefully shared it with Antonio. Now that he is in the Army of Christ, he's a soldier in the Army of Christ, please God, all of these young people will continue to serve the Lord and to be thankful for the gift of faith. The saint name that I chose was Saint Michael the Archangel. I chose him because he's the guardian angel who protects us all from evil. I want to become like him, protect my loved ones, become stronger, and make sure that they're all safe. Thank you and everything. Are we ready? Yeah. All right. He is confident, he is focused, he is with the Lord, he is involved, and he will be a tremendous mentor going forward. Ah. She shared with me that the Blessed Mother Mary has come into her life many times since then. Part of this program was really gratified with Dr. by Father Duane to be able to share my life in this community with a youth. She believes that everyone has their journey and God works differently in everyone. However, you should support your faith because faith can be your guide. Joe's same name is Joseph, which I think divine, uh, defines his personality and life almost perfectly. Saint Joseph has a lot of virtues, including faith, patience, and care. Amazing to see how long he can be in the church without burning out. All in all, I think Joe and St. Francis will help me stay on the righteous path of God. Confirmation is a meaningful step in someone's journey with God. Confirmation is a good time to grow closer to God, just like how we pray and read Holy Scriptures to connect with God. Confirmation helps strengthen that bond even more, like adding another layer of closeness to your relationship with God, like building a stronger bond. My relationship with God, getting to know is stronger. So my seniors were Miss Sinet and Mr. Flaubert. Both of them were born Catholic, but Sinet became Protestant after her mom married her stepfather when she was three. Her grandmother was Catholic and she would visit the sick and help orphan children. Sinet said she wanted to be Catholic because she was drawn to the Blessed Mother. She became Catholic and received communion in 1984, the same year that she married Mr. Flaubert. She now serves communion and visits the sick. Flaubert's dad was a deacon, and he nicknames his mother Mother Teresa because of how kind she is. Uh, it's been a very, very good experience to be a parish in St. Thomas, and I feel that I have an extended family. I chose St. Anne as my confirmation name. Originally, it's because my mom picked the name, but as I did more, <laughs> more research into the saint, I realized how much it inspires me to 
She's the mother of the Virgin Mary, and she's unwavering to the church, always putting in her faith and strongly believes in God. Thank you for spending this time with me. It was a pleasure getting to know you, and I hope that St. Joseph will work, watch over you forever and ever. And if things get dark, as sometimes they do, always remember that God is always there for you, and always call on him or St. Joseph, his buddy. Thank you. I strongly feel that in her journey as a Christian and a Catholic will not only be limited to church on Sunday, I think that Sylvia has all the qualities of going out into the community just like many of us are. And I wish all the confirmation students blessings in your journey as Christians um, and being part of the church. Mr. Russo and his life experiences on earth inspire me to stay in church after confirmation because he is, okay, he is one to look up to. He's learned philosophy that can make life better for anybody and his dedication to God inspires me to do the same.